you've been hanging around the PC gaming community for a while, you might have heard the term console peasant. And, in fact, many videos and many video series on YouTube are based around these console peasants. In fact, a really popular one are the console, qu console peasant quote series, run by a YouTuber named Bulletberry, who I have cited several times as being a level-headed, well-thought-out, and very informed YouTuber who I use and base my opinions off of sometimes. And I've learned a lot from watching his videos. So, he does a major console peasant quote series. But, enough with the needless shoutouts. It's an interesting thing, alright? So, I was talking to a friend the other day, and we were talking about you know, the whole console peasant thing. He primarily plays on console, but he's planning on going over to PC, and he's actually planning out how he's going to go about it, whether he's going to go pre-build or whether he's going to order a bunch of parts and put the thing together. Or if he's going to get one of those laptops from someplace, which I'm kind of uh, eh, iffy about, but whatever, that's his choice. But... He was worried that people were going to see him as a console peasant. That if he shared his experience, that people would dub him a console peasant for playing on a console first. Which, albeit some people more than likely would. However, that's at least the definition that I've learned and have ad adopted. That's not my true definition of a console peasant. And there are two extremes here. There's the console peasant, and then there is the PC elitist. Both are scummy in their own way. Both are also misused. And they are both misunderstood. And that'll be the purpose of this video here. To explain the differences between a console player and a console peasant, and a PC player and a PC elitist. And who, what these terms actually apply to. So, let's get into this. On the mark, get set. We're riding on the internet. Cyberspace, set free. Hello, virtual reality. Interactive appetite. Searching for a website. A window to the world. Got to get online. Take a spin. Now you're in with the techno set. You're going surfing on the internet. Hey, what's going on, geeks? Max the Beast is here. And welcome back to Max is the Beast on the internet. Today, like I said earlier, we're talking about console peasants and PC elitists. This is one of my favorite conversations to really get into because I've kind of become passionate about it over the years. So like I said a few minutes ago, there are two different definitions here. We got console player, console peasant, PC player, and PC elitist. Let's start with what we initially started talking about, the console peasant. Now, first off, this is where the myth is, this is where everyone's all caught up around the big confusion that everybody has, right? The big confusion is around the meaning of console peasant. Is it that, oh, you're a peasant because you play on console, and it's it's coming more from the PC side of things, where it's saying that PC players are calling console players peasants because they cannot afford a PC to build or buy or whatever, or have their own reasons for not doing so. And console players themselves are not peasants. All right, let's just draw that out of the line. There's a big line between console peasant and console and console player. Just because somebody plays on a console does not make them a console peasant. Here is where the true difference lies, alright? A console peasant is somebody who is purposely ignorant to facts presented to them about the PC and other platforms. Who, w whether or not this is for the PC, or just so captivated and drawn into the belief that their platform, their brand, is in all ways superior to everything else. Right? Saying that my 
Xbox One, not Xbox One Scorpio or whatever else, is superior to PlayStation 4 and PC hardware and everything else. Throwing all that out the window. Now there's a difference between that and personal preference. If you decide that I prefer playing on the Xbox over a PlayStation or a PC, all power to you. Alright, that's your choice and good for you for being content and happy playing on your preferred platform because that's your choice. But becoming so I idealistic and stuck in your ways that you close your mind off from all these other options where you believe that no, this is the absolute. I'm an absolutist now that the Xbox is better than everything else. Both technological technological levels and everything else, all right? And where these people will argue for endless amounts of time about if regardless of facts given to them proving them wrong, they will say that oh, tech wise a default Xbox One can outclass a PC. Now there are different arguments for a PC versus console debate. And if we're just coming to talk it down to preference, really, that's opinionated. And that can go either way. That can go to whatever you want it to be. But if you want to talk spec-wise or everything else, th this is not biased, but this is just truth. The PC is technologically better than a console. And it also gives you more freedoms, but we're not here to talk about all of that right now. A console peasant will make up crazy excuses and will continuously assault either verbally or in some cases even physically people who d disagree with them. For instance, we have JTEC, a YouTuber I talked about last year who was really upset with people on PC wishing that Days Gone, a actually a recently released game for the PS4, hoping that that game would come to the PC. And JTEC, on his side, was criticizing all of them for being, quote-unquote, beggars. And, or specifically, port beggars. And calling them entitled. Now, we, we already debunked that. We, we already talked about all the bollocks that he was saying. But, JTEC is a prime example of what a console peasant is. Either that, or he's the internet's greatest troll. But, although he doesn't understand what the word troll means. Anyway, <laughs> m moving back here, a console peasant will endlessly defend that platform because of its quote-unquote technological bonus to everything else. However, like I said, if you play on a console, not because you believe in its incredibly you know, technologically advanced, and it's better than everything else, you just play on it for fun. Or even if you do th prefer the specs of your console over a PC or whatever, that's your choice. That's a console player, somebody who plays on a console, whether it's PS4, Xbox, Wii, Wii U, Switch, whatever else. No matter what platform they play on, they are respectful of other people's decisions. Or they chose to play on PC or Switch, Xbox, PS4, whatever. Now that we got out of the way, that out of the way, let's move over to PC Elitist and PC Player. Just like the console player, the PC player is somebody who is a person who uses a PC for gaming, yet is also fine with people playing on consoles. These people typically are the people who started subreddits like the r slash PC Master Race. It's not meaning to be derogatory, meaning more so that it's trying to get people interested in, provide people with advice on building PCs, and just overall providing support for other PC players. However, most of these people are nice, and I'm more than sure with the thousands and thousands of people who are in that subreddit, that a few of them are of the next category we're going to be covering. But most of them are PC players and they are fine with people playing on consoles as long as those people in both 
as long as all parties actually agree to support each other's opinions and not harass each other over our opinions because it, it's honestly just a stupid war to just constantly fight each other over opinions as far as preferred platforms go. Like I said, there is an actual debate on technological and feature-wise and whatever. A lot of it does come down to personal preference, but there are some stuff like the, co the whole controller argument, monitors versus TV screens, etc. But th that's the PC player. And then there is the tried-and-true PC elitist. PC elitists are those who belittle others for having a console, for playing on console, preferring console, or even those who have incredibly beefy computers that are in the upper thousands and price ranges who belittle other PC players for having PCs that are cheaper than theirs, for having weaker specs who believe that because I have the everything that there is to have here. I have this like $4,000 computer. Oh, what is that? Your computer specs only add up to $800? <laughs> Peasant! They believe that they're better than everybody else because of the machine that they own. At the end of the day, it's cool to have a PC that can run literally anything in the existence, 4K max settings, everything maxed out, and a solid 120 FPS. Okay, that that would be the dream. And then to have like shiny LEDs to go on with it too, and a fancy keyboard and a nice mouse pad. Oh heck, even one that has LEDs lined up along the edges. You know. It would be living the dream to have that kind of a setup and a kind of a rig. But just because you have power doesn't mean that you have to belittle others for not having the exact same thing that you do. Because at the end of the day, right, the one big thing that both PC players and console players have in common, we are all gamers. We all enjoy the exact same hobby. We just choose to play it on different just choose to do it on different platforms. There is no difference other than one of us p prefers to play on a PS4, Switch, or Xbox and the other prefers to play on a computer. Th there's really no difference other than the platforms. And yet PC players these PC elitists rather, excuse me, will attack people still involved in things like the PC Master Race who just because they have weaker systems. It's really, really dumb. And these are people like my friend would be worried about because it's hard for people making the transition from console to PC to have a decent job, to have a decent experience when the the occasional encounter with a PC elitist happens. And that PC elitist is an utter jerk to that person. Because you used to put on a console, <laughs> inferior being. You dare touch a slimy Xbox controller, keyboard and mouse master race forever. Again, a lot of this stuff goes down to personal preference and really nobody has any position to judge. It would be really nice if we could all get along and we could all have a nice gaming experience on our preferred platforms or heck have more games that are cross play so both console players and PC players can play the same game together rather than barring us off from you know experiencing what the other has to offer experiencing playing games with your friends on different platforms and I'm going to give Fortnite props on this, which is something I'm rarely, I rarely do anymore. But Fortnite deserves props on being cross-platform and doing it pretty much successfully. Because people on PC can play with people on console, mobile, Switch, 
whatever else. We can all play together, and it would be amazing. It would be absolutely freaking fantastic if more games would do that. Because, honestly, the biggest issue that we all have right now is, first of all, trying to decide the difference between a PC elitist and console peasant and PC player and console player. Deciding that. And then, what's even worse is that the communities are already kind of separated. Like I said, we're all gamers, but PC players typically only play with PC players, and console players really only play with console players, with rare exception. But to really bridge the gap between PC and console players, it would be really, really nice if more games were cross-platform. I would really like to see that happen. Because then... You know, we still have the people who would belittle others or who would choose to be ignorant in the idea of supporting scummy company practices. We're, we're always going to have those kind of people. There's always going to be people so caught up in the idea that either Sony, Microsoft, or Nintendo is the best way to go and that everybody else is inferior to them, regardless of facts presented to them. And then we're always going to have the people who try to belittle, belittle others because they have a fancy piece of plastic. But at the end of the day, like I said, we're all gamers, whether we play on PC or console. There's, there no, there's no need to call PC players elitist because of the sheer fact that we play on PC, because not all of us are elitist, and that kind of assumption is incorrect. And it is also wrong for a PC player to call a console player a peasant because of the fact that they play on a console. Now, we are going to have the experience where, you know, the fanboys of console, regardless of how ignorant or whatever they are, are still going to resent PC players. It's always going to be biased, like I said. But I hope in the future that somebody out there, that, no, not even just somebody, that major companies that make games will branch out and try to connect the communities. Because we're gamers, after all. And I think the big step to break the boundaries of console peasants and PC elitists would be to merge platforms as far as crossplay goes. So PC players can play any game with console players if they so desire to. Like have a server option to say, oh, for a PC player going to server menu, console players. And it and that can lead into other debates, which you might cover in the future, like, well, would that be fair in games like FPS games where having a mouse and keyboard is vastly superior to controllers? Or in racing games where controllers are typically better than mouse and keyboard? But then again, it also goes down to the fact that PC can, can connect any controller in the known universe, but... It will spark debates. However, I see it as a big positive that could really change the gaming community for the better. Again, that's just one man's thoughts. I'm curious on what all of you are thinking. Leave me your thoughts in the description below, or in the comments below, rather. Let me know what you think. Do, do you know anybody who fits the description of console peasant or PC elitist? Or do you have any questions about it? Did I not explain something thoroughly enough? If I failed to educate in that one area, please let me know and I will respond to your comment and answer whatever question you may have to the best of my knowledge. Again, thank you guys for watching and I hope, guys, the next Max is the Beast on the Internet will be back to its roots where I'm going to be reading articles and covering stuff regularly rather than just an out of the blue random topic but like I said earlier I'm passionate about this so when I was playing this game PC building simulator I'm like 
I should really cover this. Especially when I started reading comment sections of several PC related videos. <laughs> Yikes. Anyway, guys, thanks again for watching, and as always, Max of the Beast is out.